Hello, Conchi. Hello, From Barcelona. <laughs> we are yeah, continuing but... Sagrada Familia Church. Yeah. We have here Sagrada Familia model with all the 18 towers we need to build in the future. Jesus Tower in the middle with four towers around the four evangelists and we'll have 12 towers around the 12 disciples. So we have finished now the approximately 80% of these constructions. And here you can see Nativity of Jesus with four towers finished for disciples. Continuing Sagrada Familia Church. Yeah, yeah You can yeah, see yeah. here the very yeah. beautiful stained glasses. Yeah. Fantastic. We are at the west of the church. Yes. So we have the beautiful colors from autumn and winter. Yeah. This is the west sunset here every night. Yeah. So Gaudi, he decided to have this beautiful red, orange, dark green color showing okay. this moment of the season of winter. Yeah. And look at the reflex of the mm. columns yeah. around there. Yeah. And earlier you mentioned uh, Gaudi didn't want to be too tall for the building, right? He has about less than 200 meters, am I right? For the church. See, we, we, have our, we are arriving to the 173 high meters. 173, okay. In total. So that means that will be the highest church in the world. Oh, yeah. But we will yeah. be less important than the altitude of our mountain in Montjuic with 183 yeah. oh. because now did he say yeah i prefer the mountain higher yeah i don't want to pass the god hand Understand. the god creation uh, yeah yeah this nature huh? they yes shouldn't try to but the reason uh, this will be arriving to 173 yeah. degrees look at the other colors over there yeah the other stained glasses spring and uh, and summer. So you can see the very big differences between these stained glasses in one side and on the other side. And very, very important to have and to see the differences between the columns with the very different colors because Gaudi, he was using different uh, materials, it depending on the weight he needed to support. And very lucky now because we can hear will be the music of the organ. The organ is there, so someone is playing the organ now. I'm so fortunate to come in with you at this time. <laughs> oh yes, fantastic. Yeah. Lucky now. Yeah. And lucky because we can see that the spectacular lights. Where is the organ? Is there at the corner? Is there at the corner? But we'll have more music organs in the future. We'll have two more there with Joseph. You can see Joseph over there. And we'll have two more music organs here with Maria too, with Mary. You can see Mary here, okay. Mary statue. This is the name of the church, Sagrada Familia, because Mary, Joseph and Jesus, that is the meaning of the church. Actually, nobody knew. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they already know Sagrada Familia. Sagrada Familia, but anybody say, everybody says Sagrada Familia, but uh, yeah. the reason is because Joseph, Mary, and Jesus. Over there, upon Mary, Maria, we have that stained glasses, and that represents the resurrection of Jesus and the ascension to heaven of Jesus. The stained glasses with a very clear light. Resurrection of Jesus Christ. Here's the tomb of Gaudi, right? Yes, this is the Gaudi tomb. We have over and there few have at the, the end. See this, yeah. Yes, you can see over there with the red candles yeah. the Gaudi tomb. This is the crypt yeah. of the Sagrada Familia. It was designed by the first architect, Mr. Villar. And now we have his tomb there, Gaudi tomb. So you can see here the rest of the stained glasses. Look at the beautiful colors. And look at the red colors here. It's so brilliant. It's so brilliant. It's, uh, mm. We cannot appreciate very well with the camera. It's much better directly, of course. But it's a fantastic stained glasses. Look at the light. It depending if you come here in the morning, at the afternoon, by night, you can see different colors different churches. 
Sagrada Familia es one of the biggest churches in the world. From this explain this, this part. I think most people they are only guessing, <laughs> but you okay. are the expert. You can tell. Huh? Oh, wow. So we can see here the last facade dedicated to the Passion of Jesus, mm -hmm. with four mobile towers on the top, because we have four mobile uh, disciples there. Remember, we'll have twelve towers around, and all the Jesus moment, Jesus death in front and right. You can see the leaning columns on the right and on the left these represent the highest trees in the world with the name of sequoia or the redwood so this facade is absolutely different because it has been made in now in 1986 but always reproducing the gaudi's project nothing is new only different style you can see there the last supper yeah. Jesus speaking in front of the 12 people. Then here you can see Judas kissing Jesus. The snake is evil, betrayal, Satan. And that is square we call the magic square because we have 16 numbers. And if you take the first row, one plus 14, 14 plus four, there is a total of 33, Jesus age. And then you can see here Jesus before his death, three steps that represent the three days till the moment of Jesus' resurrection. We can continue here and you can see St. Peter when he denied three times Jesus and the rooster. Then we arrive to the second level where you can see Jesus on the cross. Veronica in the middle and there is a person very important there Gaudi that is the face of Gaudi okay. at the I center know. to the left oh, it's, Gaudi. Yeah. it's Gaudi looking all the history yeah. and then at the end you can see Jesus on the cross and if you look Jesus head is like an open book it's a bible where we can find all the history of him we have here this beautiful door write it in Catalan language. All the words here are write it in Catalan. We have 2,000 letters melted in bronze and he's speaking about the two last days of Jesus' life. We have the end of Jesus' life and here you can see again the fantastic door. Jesus and others Catalan words. Because now we are arriving to the exterior, okay, to see Jesus' death. We can see Jesus here, and we'll see the passion of Jesus in a few moments. We'll see here the facade of Jesus' death. You can see there the furniture designed by Gaudi. You see it for the Bible uniforms and for the objects that we need when we celebrate Mass. We can see here the floor of the exit of the church. Fantastic because you can see Jesus mm. and he's arriving to Jerusalem temple. Yeah. And the people are here with the palms on their hands that represent the Palm Sunday. Palm Sunday during the Easter week. Look at the beautiful, fantastic floor. Over there, where we'll go now is the entrance of the cloister. Cloister, it was a very important place to meditate, to speak with God, to read the Bible. And for Gaudi, it was very important to have the cloister around the church. 